So usually when I have a first time volunteer come and be a part of a class, their face says it all. They're like, oh my gosh, that was the coolest thing I've ever been a part of. It's just a joyful place. My name is Lauren Beasley, and I'm the founder and executive director of Move Inclusive Dance. Move Inclusive Dance is a dance studio for everyone, no matter their ability level. I took my first dance class when I was three years old. From that point on, it was pretty much my everything. For me, not only was it you know, a fun activity, but it was a place where I could go and know that it was safe for me to express my emotions, be myself, and it was just really a, a creative outlet. It was way more than just learning steps. Not everyone loves to dance, but a lot of people do. It's the same for people with disabilities, right? Why wouldn't there be a place that they could go take a dance class like I can? They don't have that opportunity. And because it was so transformative in my life, I felt like it was my duty at that point to make it possible. When we start the choreography, what's the very first thing that we do in this combo? Yes, Emma, show them. We slide and we party, we slide, and we party. When I'm driving to the studio, I'm probably planning my classes for the day. One of the things that is different um, when you're teaching adaptive dance, you know, you wanna have a good solid plan, but you also have to be prepared for literally anything else to happen, just in case, you know, plan A doesn't really go as I thought. And, you know, you just gotta be ready to, to move on your toes like that. I oversee all of the programming here at Move Inclusive Dance, seeing if all the students are getting their needs met. You have to get to know the student in order to understand exactly what they need. And that's what inclusion is all about. It's a dance class, but it's adapting to whoever is coming through the doors. We've tailored everything that we do, everything in the building, every part of our curriculum, to be adapted for people with special needs, but at the same time, people without special needs are also welcome in the classes too. Here we go. One, one, and two. One, one, and two. From here, we do a little kick combination with our feet. So if you're doing the feet, it'll look like this. You go kick forward, kick side, and then change it up. Again, go forward and side, and then change it up. And if you're just doing the upper body, you're gonna kinda just like, uh, uh, switch sides. Uh, uh, switch sides. Building a better community and a better place is the ultimate goal. No matter where you come from, what ability level you have, you fit here. We're going to make dance work for you. But when things shut down um, due to COVID, we immediately had to pivot. And so we took things to a virtual setting. Can someone tell me what improv dance is? Raise your hand if you know. It, it's where you just dance without any instruction. Yes, it's when you dance without any instruction. That's a really good um, description of it. You know, it's definitely not the same as being in person, but what I've found is that people right now, more than ever, are craving connection. Our students that are doing the Zoom classes, they love their weekly sessions because they get to see their friends. We've had a handful of students that have participated from out of state because we're doing it online, right? So you can really join from anywhere. And that's been a really, really cool thing to see because it's you know just opened our program up. It just requires a lot of energy from me as the teacher. I am like worn out by the end of one of our virtual classes. Let's do this, just follow me. We use dance to, to get our message out there, but at the end of the day, we just want people to be open to one another, love one another, and be positive. 